hey hey what's shaking bacons so first i just need to apologize i have like a sinus thing going on so my nose is clogged well it's definitely like releasing and then like my throat is all messed up but i'm feeling fine mind over matter we're feeling good it's friday i'm gonna tell you guys all about my doctor's appointment the other day so for those of you guys that don't know I started seeing a holistic doctor about, well, like three months ago. So I've had some issues with, like, my hormones. I have anxiety, depression. Like, I was on medication for that. I was on birth control to help with, like, my periods and things like that. And obviously, we didn't want babies right at this time. But I was just kind of having some issues, and I went to the... um like western medicine doctor like the doctor that I was normally going to and I was like hey like I'm having these issues and I was having I know this might sound gross and I'm sorry but I was having troubles like I like poop like two times a week and I was like okay there's something going on and like literally I, this is disgusting as well but I would like fart and I could probably like kill something it literally smelled like something crawled up inside of me and died and like my husband is like, what is the matter with you? I was like, I don't know. And I probably farted 82 times a day. And he's like, what is going on? Like, I cannot even live in the same house with you. I was like, I don't even think I could live with myself either. Like, what is going on? So I went to the doctor and tried to tell her about this. And, you know, like, I'm like, I thought, like, my anxiety and depression was kind of, like, under control. And I was like, I don't know what's going on. And she's like, so is this certainly not working for you anymore? And I was like. I, I don't know. I, I just wanted to like talk to you about some things. And she's like, hmm, well, what do you, what do you want to do? Get off it and try something new? I was like, well, you just can't like jump off of it from what I'm understanding or what I know. Um, so she's like, well, do you work out? Do you eat healthy? Like she was just like kind of attacking me. Like a mom would like yell at a teenager and I'm like, I'm, I'm just trying to get some help here. And so she's like, well, just take me relax to help you poop and work out an hour and a half a day and everything will be hunky dory. And so I was like, well, could we like do some blood work? I was like, I think my hormones are off. And she's like, no, I just can't do blood work for that. So she refused to be blood work for my hormones. I was like, I feel like something is off. Like I've been in this body for 30 years and there's just something not jiving. There's something off. And she's like, well, I just can't like order a test to order a test. Can you say there's like something off with me? Like, what is going on? So she refused to test my hormones. So I was like, okay, so she did a full blood work panel on me. So I'm like waiting at home for these results or whatever. Like, do I have something wrong with my thyroid? This, that, the other thing. She never called me with results. It's been like four months. Still hasn't called me with results. I know the results are out there because I was able to like look online, but like, there was a few things that were kind of like, er, 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 like borderline, like didn't look okay. You know, like was in like the not normal region. So I wanted her to call me like, to tell me like, you're going to die or you're fine or whatever, or work out more or drink more Miralax or whatever she was going to tell me. So haven't heard from her still. And even like called the office to be like, hi, like Dr. So-and-so still hasn't called me. And then she wanted me to go back in two weeks so she could like probably yell at me more or whatever. And I was like, oh, hell no. So I like canceled that appointment. I was like, peace out, Girl Scout. Like, we're just like, like ending it here. Like, we're not going any further. Um, so I went to the holistic doctor and I kind of told her everything or, okay. So here's the thing. I didn't tell her everything. I wrote it down on a piece of paper. Cause you get like this questionnaire before you go in there, they email it to you. So I printed it out, physically wrote everything down. Cause I'm just like, kind of like an old grandma that way, where I just like to write things down versus, um, you know, like doing things like on a PDF like that. So I wrote everything down, had it in my little notebook, handed it to her on her desk. She put it in her folder. So she literally did not look at it. So here's the thing. I know some people don't believe in this method, but it's totally fine. We can have our own opinions. <clears throat> my husband doesn't really believe in it, but how I tell him, I was like, this is my body. I'm going to do what I want with my body. This is your body. You can do what you want with your body. If I want a tattoo, I'm going to do it. If I want to get extensions, I'm going to do it. If I want to take some secret blend of herbs and spices, I'm going to do it. So that's, that's that. Um, I just don't really like anybody telling me what I'm going to do. Cause I'm like very stubborn like that. So, um, yeah, I have the comments swiped. So if you guys have something to ask or whatever, I'll have to come back and message you guys 
later about it because I'm going to post this on um, my YouTube. So yeah, so like I'm very stubborn like that. So she had kind of told me like the whole thing of what she was going to do. So I don't know all of the special things. Like there, I was recommended by my neighbor and a couple friends to like go see a naturopath, holistic doctor, whatever you want to call them. Um, so the thing that I went to go do is called nutritional counseling. For me, it was 70 bucks for the appointment for the nutritional counseling. And then you pay for whatever kind of um, supplements. So they don't take insurance at the one that I go to. But if you have like Medicare or Medicaid, I think they take that. But you, I think you pay like 48 bucks or something. Versus like 70 bucks for like the exam or something like that. So there is that. But anyway, if you guys are looking to find one near you, just kind of Google nutritional counseling, homeopathic, holistic doctor. I don't exactly know what you want to call them. The one that I go to is also a chiropractor, but I don't go to her for chiropractic needs. Um, just cause I was seeing my other chiropractor to begin with. And I feel like that is working and I like that method. So yeah, so she has a computer on her desk and there's this hand scanner. So it's pretty much, it looks like a big mouse, but there's like little places where you like put your hand. So it's like the scanner like this. So you just put your hand on there. And like the first time that I put my hand on there, I didn't really get like zapped, but it was just kind of like a weird feeling. So I was like, okay, that was weird. And she's like, yeah, that's normal. So you just kind of hold your hand there and it pulls up things on the screen. So I don't remember everything that it pulled up like the first time. Um, cause this was three months ago and I went the first time. I don't remember everything that it pulled up. And then all of a sudden she was like jotting things down and then she was asking me, she's like, okay, like tell me about your bowel movements. I was like, well, they're far and few between. And she's like, okay, like, do you have any bloating or gas? And I was like, yeah, I'm like the stinkiest, badinkiest person on the face of the planet. Like I, if I farted right now, you'd probably like pass out and die. Like it is so gross. And I was like, I'm like so bloated. I have like a little pooch here, like a fupa. But I was like, where did this fupa come from? So I was like, I feel like there's just so much like poop packed inside of there. And I told her, I was like the holistic doc or the, sorry, the um, Western medicine doctor was like, oh, just take Miralax and just like shit your guts out. And you'll be like hunky dory. Like, no. So then I told her, I was like, I think my hormones are off and stuff. So, um, I didn't have to tell like the naturopath doctor a lot. Sorry, my nose. <sighs> okay. We should be good now. She, she's clear as a whistle. So I didn't have to tell her any of this stuff. She would just ask me questions, and, but she was asking me questions. She's like, okay, tell me about your periods. I was like, well, they were super heavy. She's like, okay, that's showing up on here. She's like, let me guess. Like, a lot of cramping, a lot of clots, you know, like all this stuff. And I was like, I felt like she was like in my brain, but she did not look at this piece of paper. And then all of a sudden she hands me a bag and she's like, can you spit in this? I was like, like spit? Like, like, so I like literally like hocked a loogie in there and she's like, well, that's like the best spit ever. And I was like, well, I didn't know what you want me to do. So she seals it in this bag, puts it in this little like holder. And there's like this, I don't know. It's like a thing like this big and it's black and she like pushes her finger on it. And then there's these like little dials and she was just like, Oh, she's like, Oh my goodness. Your hormones are way off. She's like, your um, estrogen is super, super high. And I was like on birth control and stuff, but I was like looking to get off of it because I was like, there's the reason why I got put on birth control is because my periods were like super, super bad. And of course, like we didn't want kids at that very moment, but I was like, we're going to want kids in the future. So I should probably like get off this stuff. Um, so she was asking me questions about that. And then she's like, Ooh, she's like, yep, that's what I thought. So I don't know exactly what this thing is. My husband was asking, he's very like skeptical about all this stuff. And I was like, I don't know, but she was, it was like, she was literally like in my mind reading everything, but I know like, obviously it's not just like mind reading. Like she had this machine there that was analyzing my spit to figure out what was inside of me. She's like, this is going to sound really crazy, but she's like, you have parasites in your small intestines. And I was like, mm. like, I just like felt like, like a tapeworm was just like, yo man, just like, like sitting in my small intestines, like munching on whatever I eat there, you know, just like farting away down there. That's why I was like so stinky with my farts. But so I was like, okay. And so she's like, um, what I'm going to recommend for that is Paragard. 
take one a day for 90 days like the little capsules and I had already got those because I like had like a sneaky suspicion I was doing some of my own research before I went in so I actually had those ordered hang on I have like a seed or something stuck on my tooth right there um yeah so she said like my hormones were very very high my estrogen and I just wanted to like my Western medicine doctor, I'm like, seriously, like I told you my hormones were off, like, I'm raging. <laughs> so I was like, seriously. So she's like, I'm gonna give you this, what's called estrodim, to dim down your estrogen. And she's like, obviously, get off the birth control. Like she can't tell you to do anything, but she's like, I would advise you if like that's the plan you want to do. So I'm like, peace out, birth control. Like we're not doing that no more. Um, excuse me. So yeah, she put me on estrogen had me do the parasite cleanse and it was easy like you literally just take this little like brown pill that's this big for um 90 days and there was one time that i was like whoa is that something in the toilet but i think like i was just thinking that i was gonna poop out this big tapeworm so nothing insane came out of me that i was like aware of but um and then i also took uh, what was called this viruside i think it was called she said I had some kind of virus in me at that time. And when I had gone in then, I had some kind of, like, thing going on, kind of like this. But when she tested it this time, it wasn't a virus. This is something else going on. But anyway, so yeah. And then what else did she do? Yeah, she told me just to eat more um, sauerkraut and that, like, kabucha kimchi or whatever, like that pickled fish stuff or whatever it is. I like tried doing the kombucha. I like couldn't. It was whoof -da. So maybe we'll save that for a different day. But anyway, so three months went by, went off my birth control, did the parasite cleanse, did the estrogen, all that. So I go back. So I, this was the other day and she did my like scan and everything. Let me see if there was anything else. Oh, she also gave me, um, the first time ashwagandha and I could take one to two of the chews as needed. I have everything written down in this little like book thing. And then this time, so you did the same thing where you put your hand on the scanner first and then she just kind of like writes things down that pop up on there and she's like, she's like, okay, I can see that your metabolism is resetting. And she's like, are you feeling really puffy? I was like, yeah, I'm feeling like a freaking whale right now. And I didn't even tell her any of this. And I was like, that's why I'm wearing leggings today. And she's like, okay, she can see like my, like my paranasal and my ears came up on the scanner and she said um like different bugs in that can make you bloat like your like you know like viruses like sicknesses or whatever she said that she could see emotions pop up on there so she said sometimes they come out of the physical being last and then okay I'll talk about that last um she said there I'm having a histamine response and sometimes that can be from the virus she said my parasites were better, so all those were gone, so my cleanse worked, and I will tell you guys, like, sorry, like, I literally, I was just telling my husband this the other day, like, last night, I was like, I literally haven't farted in, like, five days, like, I, I, I don't think I fart anymore, and I was like, I'm pooping better, like, I think I pooped four times yesterday, I was like, go me, go me, it's your birthday, because let me tell you, when you poop, like, once a week, like, you feel like you have a, a child in there, like, <laughs> Like, it is crazy, but, yeah, so, I'm pooping better, and, like, I, I don't even fart, so, like, it doesn't stink, because I think there was just, like, that tapeworm in there, got him out. I don't think it was a tapeworm, it was probably something else, but, like, it, it's crazy, like, and I feel so much better, like, mentally, because I think, like, my estrogen was just so, like, funky and off, so here's the thing, I'm still on my sertraline or Zola for, like, my anxiety and depression, so we're going to work on weaning myself off of that. But she's like, first you have to do your parasite cleanse first and then your heavy metal cleanse. And it's like a process before you can like weed out all of these things. She's like, it's going to, it's going to be a while. You know what I mean? Like you just can't like cut things off cold turkey. Um, she said, there's a lot of things that are popping up here that can cause, that can cause anxiety and depression. So she said, once you like filter those things out and figure out how to like handle those, then it'll be, be easier. So we're going to do that in the springtime. So that's coming in the next three months. Like I need to do the current supplements that I'm on for three months. And then we're going to wean myself off the search lean or Zoloft, whatever you want to call it. So moving on. Um, she said like the thing that I have here is not a virus. 
um like i know that she was saying like the histamine is sometimes from a virus but then she's like okay this one isn't a virus it's just the stuff that like comes up on the computer when she's doing the scan on my hand so she said there's still some hormone disruptors in me but it's better than the last time uh she said first you have to detox from all those and then like neutralize it so we're working on that i guess there was some stuff in my blood last time that popped up that were was kind of like a war or a flag or whatever but she said it's better now she said said my parathyroid came up she said it could be resetting because of like the birth control and that because um i don't know what i wrote on here but yeah it's a side effect from the birth control and then she like ended up testing it after and she said it's doing what it's doing but it is like resetting so that's a good thing um she said that the chemicals were high like inside of me because like your fat cells expand for protection so that's why i was like so bloated in that um she said my guts look good for like my whole um parasites in that it was my small intestines last time so like my nutrition absorption is up my uterus looks better because there was something flagged on there last time with my uterus so that's why she's like okay like this time it's better with estrogen and everything it's gonna take a while to like get the birth control out of my system and get like my cycle to level out and everything because she's she's like you should not be cramping as much as you are and like bleeding as much as you are but she said it's gonna take a while to like regulate everything out so um like the fibrous she said will work out with the cramping and it's good for new tissue and then um she said there was also a lot of heavy metals popping up this time so aluminum nickel all of that so she's like um, we're going to have to do some kind of heavy metal detox. And then what else popped up? <sighs> Lime. Like two positives popped up. Um, and I don't know exactly what that two positives mean, but um, let me see. So she was saying that some of my anxiety could be from the Lyme disease. That's why I was needing the Zola for like my anxiety and depression and that. And like with my emotions so she was saying that could be um something from it so yeah i honestly do not have any known symptoms of lyme like i'm not achy or whatever there's like a lot of people that will go in that they're like okay like my joints ache this that the other thing or they have the bullseye so i've been bit by uh two deer, deer ticks i've had one embedded in my hip it was about thinking ever since then like that's kind of when we moved here and that's kind of when my anxiety started going crazy i was just trying to like think about these things i'm like huh that is very interesting and like my depression and that kind of started going a little haywire so i'm like huh very 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 interesting and then it was last summer i had a tick that was underneath my butt cheek that was like attached but there was a ton of ticks outside so i probably got it from either the horses or like walking around in the pasture hang on <coughs> i'm very sorry or like the dog and the cat sleep in bed with us well the cat doesn't go outside but and then she said there was a lot of candida which is like an overgrowth of yeast i know this is gonna be weird but if you have a white tongue there's a lot of candida on there she said and this was all new to me i literally had to like google some of these things and ask her a lot so that's why it was very helpful for me to do like the voice I think it was called voice memo on my phone. I just literally hit the button and it recorded our whole conversation. And then I could just listen to it after. It didn't transcribe it or anything, but I just liked re-listening to it because then I could write my notes and like kind of understand things better. So she said, um, the candida is where the lime thrives and it thrives with like sugar and carbs in that. So like if you don't have it, then it doesn't feed it. So she gave me these gut flora drops that if I stick my tongue out and see a white tongue put five drops on and it's going to help with like your gut floor because like what, the color of your tongue is like what is going on in your gut that's what she said and then um she also said that she saw like inflammation strep and sinus so i don't know i don't think i have strep but she was just saying that there was something like popping up with that i have like a lot of notes here so she said there was also lead for heavy metals and she's so I was like where are these coming from she's like well it could be like supplements that you take could be like contaminated because I do take a couple other like supplements so she advised me to either like stop those or bring them in and then she can like test them to see like if they're contaminated or if they're good um so she said my calcium calcium metabolism is off um 
if you have heavy metals. And then, so, um, my sinuses, and then, like, obviously my Lyme. So, for the bloating, she said it could be because of the metals and because of the Lyme, and then the sinus, um, she said that she gave you this mucoclear. clear. You take one, two times a day until your symptoms are gone. She said it's a common strep, but I don't think she meant like strep throat kind of thing. Um, and then for the heavy metals, it was very cool. So she has like that little black platform that she like does. She like touches it and then she like twists the dials and then she's like, okay, your parathyroid's bad or you know, whatever. She like does the thing. I don't know how she does it. it. It's very crazy. It's so cool. Like, I'm just so intrigued. I'm just like in awe, like watching her the whole time. And like, I wanted to record her, but I was like, that's kind of weird. She's just doing her thing. Like, I don't know. I just didn't want to, but she had taken a couple different supplements off of her counter and put them on there. And she's like, nope, that one's not going to work too strong for you nope, that one's not going to work. Like, I don't know how it told her this. It, I was like mind blown. But anyway, the one that's going to work for me for my heavy metals is, um, this bath. It's this clay bath. I'll, I'll read you all the things that she put me on in a second, but I do, um, this bath for 20 minutes. I have to submerge like my whole head, except for like my mouth and nose, obviously. So you can breathe, but especially my thyroid in the back of my head. So she said it's going to help like suck out all of those heavy metals. And then like when you drain the tub, you'll watch the clay go down first. And then like all of like the chemicals and greases and like heavy metals will go, go down after. I haven't taken the bath yet. I will on Sunday. So I'll update you guys to let you know. Um, so then for the lime, how she um, treats it. So normally, obviously I'm a vet tech, so I work in uh, the, the animal world and we live like in literally like the Lyme disease capital of the world. So we see a lot of it. Um, so it's very uncommon here or very common here. Um, so we treat dogs with doxycycline in antibiotic. So, um, for human, how she was going to, to treat is she called it the North American Indian method. So there's two tinctures and, um, I should have brought them here now. Like it really matters because you can't really see anything, but they're just like in a, um, amber looking bottle and there are two tinctures that she made. One is week one, one is week two. So you take one drop a day of the week one for week one and then week two, one drop a day, and then you rotate and you do that for 90 days until I go back. And it's just one drop on the tongue and it just tastes very herby. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't taste good and it doesn't really taste bad. It's just like one little drop. So you don't really like taste it, I guess. So, um, I guess I'll go back to like the bath. So that's going to bring down the candida level. So the lime, um, can't live in there as well. So that's what she was saying. Um, I still need to do low carb because obviously like candida doesn't do well if it doesn't have like carbs and sugar to feed off of. Um, and then she was saying, that is another reason why I'm like having such a hard time like losing weight. I'm just like so bloated in that, even though I was like eating good, working out all the things. So she's saying if you have a white tongue, you're not losing because your flora is like off. And when you like eat carbs and stuff, it just like holds on to them kind of thing. And it's still kind of hard for me to grasp all this. This is just kind of what I've gathered. Um, so yeah. It, it was just very interesting. So I have these drops to help. So she's like, if you're going to eat carbs, just put these drops in their um, gut flora drops. She said it's going to um, going to help. And I do feel like a lot less bloated today because I did take quite a bit of the drops yesterday because like looking at my tongue when it wasn't white, I would take them. Um, and then she gave me orthoimmune. It's just going to help. It's kind of like a Z pack, just a bunch of different vitamins in there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, but I'll tell you everything that I'm on here that she, so I have the week one, week two of the, um, lime tincture and take, um, one drop, one a day, alternate weeks. Like I said, the mucoclear, clear two in the morning, two at night till my symptoms are gone. And that's helped a lot. Um, the betonite clay, I think that's how you say it. I can't really read her writing, but I just do that one a week, 20 minute, a bath, 20 minutes in the bath. And then the orthomune, and then the gut flora drops, um, five drops if white tongue. And then she just told me to, um, up my greens, eat sprouts. She had recommended a 13 hour fast and then eat fat first thing when I wake up in the morning, drink lemon lime water and eat red spices because she said 
with your um, thyroid in that. Um, heat is good. And she said bugs do not like heat and salt. So that was that. Was that. So um, I'm going to come back and read the comments here. I can post everything like in the comments, like pictures of things. And like I said, the, the Lyme disease tinctures are something she made. So she didn't tell me what they, what was in there. And my husband was very skeptical on that. I was like, I'm going to trust her. She has helped me so far. So, um, he, he's very skeptical on the thing. Like he just wants me to go to the regular doctor and get doxycycline. He's, he's like, if you have Lyme disease, you need to go and get doxycycline. And then it's been a whole thing. We've been butting heads on it. I was like, okay, dude, I love you, but my body's my body. I'm going to, I'm going to do what I feel seems fit for it. And your body's your body. He like low key, I think like broke his wrist a couple weeks ago. So I'm be like, has he gone to the doctor? No. And I was like, exhibit A, like you do what you want with your body. I'm going to do what I want with mine. So she is a, what the Optimum Performance Chiropractic Center, that's what her like facility is called, but she is essentially just like a natural path, holistic, homeopathic, nutritional counselor, doctor. I don't exactly know like her title and that's what my husband's like, well, what's her title? I'm like, Dr. Jamie, I don't know. Then you need, yes, exactly, Jessica, that's exactly what I said. I was like, that doctor, like, literally, like, refused to treat me. So I said, like, I needed to go a different route. And I was like, they will literally just shove pills down your throat because that's what they're taught to do. She's in Phillips, actually, Jessica, and one other location. But yeah, if you want, like, all of her info, I'll, like, I'll get it to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm like, so matter of fact, like my parents could have told him I'm very stubborn. Like if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm not going to let anybody's opinion, like influence me. You know what I mean? Like, yes, of course. Like I value his opinion and stuff, but I'm like, I'm the person who lives in this body. And I was like, I'm going to have kids with this body someday. So I'm not going to have it filled with like birth control and other shit. Like, we, we got to get her cleaned out. I said, what I've been doing helps. And, like, a lot of the stuff is natural, like, herbs and stuff. Like, it's not that I'm taking some kind of drugs. I have not, Sarah. And literally, that's what she said. What did she say? Obesity is, I don't think I wrote it down. But it's literally like bacteria stuck in there, you know, like that candida. So it was just like so crazy to me. I, I don't think I wrote it down. But you need to have your good bacteria higher than your bad bacteria. Yeah, and she was saying like, if I have a lot of candida, that's why you're not losing weight. She's like, after you take the... um supplements on your tongue she's like it's gonna like help so much she's like it's not like you're just gonna like lose the weight but she literally said she said you probably have five extra pounds from all the heavy metals in you and five extra pounds with like your gut flora she's like that is insane and then once i get off the um sertraline and the zoloft we're gonna we're gonna level shit out like it's gonna be hot girl summer <laughs> And it's like, I'm not like looking to like lose weight to be like 110 pounds. Like I used to be 113 pounds in high school and I could eat like a bag of chips a day. And I was fine. Because according to me the other time, that was the only thing my mom fed me. <laughs> no, just kidding. But um, yeah, like obviously my body's different now. So I weigh like 156 pounds on a good day after a good poop. Um, and I was like 135 pounds. I've gained like 20 pounds just for like no reason. I literally have not done anything different with my like exercise life. Like I've been doing low carb for the past four years and not strict keto, just low carb where you're not eating like breads and desserts and getting all fat and sassy, but I'm just getting fat and I'm, I'm still sassy, I think. But, um, why? 
So I was like, there, there's gotta be a reason. And like, I was just feeling like, I will literally tell you guys, like there was, well, I'm not pregnant. There's just like a little pooch here and it was just like all poop in there. I'm fairly certain. Like the pooch has gone away a little bit, but she's still kind of hanging out there. So I was like, we gotta hit the tra trail and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. I've had a white tongue my whole life. Bloating is real. Yeah, I need to go get the stuff. Like, you guys can just come with me for a little hot jiffy. And I'm gonna get the stuff that... Oh, I'll just show you out here. It's not like it's a secret. But I would not show my husband those tinctures of the lime stuff. Because he is... He just doesn't like it. So I was like, I, I really don't care to hear your opinion. Like, everybody has one. Like, that's what we t told each other yesterday. I'm like opinions are like assholes everyone has one and I was like I don't really care to hear about your hairy butthole right now so we're just not going to talk about it um oops I think I broke the little elastic because I wanted this to be because this is actually a jumpsuit but I just wanted this to be like hi because my husband is very opinionated and I was like I'm doing this for my health so you have your own body you can do what you want with it I'm going to do this route so I'll show you guys here. Just hang on a little jiffy. Ouch, sorry. I don't know why I said sorry. I'm the one that hit my hand. So this is the clay for detoxing of the heavy metals. This is the orthoimmune. So somebody was asking how expensive this was. This was, I don't know, it doesn't have a price. So it's 37. This is the muco clear. This was 17. Ashwagandha is what I got last time. Just helps with Hopefully it'll come back here. Um, but yeah, so this was the gut flora. This is the white tongue thing. I'm going to take this in the other room and I'll show you guys how to take it. And then this is the Lyme tincture for my Lyme disease. So they're, you just shake them up and put one little drop. This one was a little clogged this morning, so I had to like... But you just take one drop on the tongue. Boom. And she makes these, so... I'm going to show you guys how to do the gut flora ones. So come with me. Thank you. I got the jumpsuit from Cider. C no, was it Cedar or Cider? I don't know. It's just like this little online store thing. All right. So if you have a white tongue, take these drops. You take five of them. You just swallow them. It kind of tastes like a little bit like tree bark and candy mixed together. So it's fine. Um, so here's the thing. Like, they have instructions on here. So this one is, where did it, oh, right here. An eighth of a teaspoon, so 0.62 milliliters, two to three times a day in one to two ounces of water between meals for two to three weeks, shake well. And this is, it actually says um, for kids, but she sometimes like tweaks them for like my own needs or who's ever needs, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can for sure post pictures. <laughs> So yeah, like I don't feel like I have any symptoms of Lyme other than like I don't have like the known ones that you think of, you know, like aches and pains and things like that. But thinking like, do I have anxiety? Do I have brain fog? I like forget shit. Like, like I forgot what I had for breakfast already. Like I just like literally forget. Um, You know me, I have to like write a bunch of notes. So I'm like, is that part of it? Like I, I just don't really know. So it will be very interesting to see what comes up next time after doing these um tinctures and that so right exactly so she was like during the part where she's like stick out your tongue and i'm like first you want me to spit in this hockey in this bag and now you want me to stick out my tongue like yeah she is awesome so um I know that she does, like, virtual visits. I just don't know how that, like, all works. I think you have to have, like, the scanner at your house and things like that. But, obviously, I don't. But it would be really freaking cool if I did. But, yeah, so I just have this, like, little booklet that I'm going to keep 
track of all the things so i will like let you guys know but i'm very excited because if i can like lose this weight and like get back on my health kick journey like that would be i would be shit and tall cotton man it would be good so alrighty, guys i will chat with you guys later but if you have like any questions or whatever drop them in the comments like i said i'm gonna put this on my youtube as well so alrighty, hopefully you guys have a fabulous day Bye bye